Why didn't you wake me up and bring me with you? Because I'm taking a shit. Let's play. Welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name's Ruben. This is my review for Self Reliance. It's a film that's been in flux for a couple of years. I've known about this film for a long time. I've had the screener for months and only now is the embargo releasing because they finally found a place to house the film but also put it out to people. So I'm hoping those that like this type of film will get behind it and show it some love but let's talk about it given the opportunity to participate in a life or death reality game show one man discovers there's a lot to live for so this is coming out on hulu and i presume disney slash stars uh, in the uk but it's directed <laughs> written and acted by jake johnson it also stars anna kendrick and andy sandberg anna kendrick has a smaller role and andy sandberg has a very minimalist role it's a very interesting tour in the state of a person that has been doing the same thing over over and over again nine to five is kind of in a rut doesn't know really what to do about their lives but they know they need to shake it up our character we kind of start with the jake johnson's character here tommy who's been in a relationship for like 20 years and that starts at a place where it's broken he gets the chance to play a game where he can win a million become a millionaire if he survives 30 days of people trying to kill him there is a caveat though. And so, so what we get here is our character Tommy, Jake Johnson, trying to push himself on people to be with them non-stop. So we have the family that trying to listen to his story. That is all quirky, very real as to how a family would probably react. If I told them this story, they would think I'm absolutely going on a creative binge and I'm writing a new story and they'll just laugh at me. It's that sort of thing as frustrating as you, the viewer, know what's going on but uh, nobody believes him. And eventually he comes up with another character who is willing, well, a couple of characters who are willing to spend time with him. And so we go on this journey with this character trying to survive 30 days in amongst fear, but also a self-reflection time for this character. So it's massively growing, getting outside of his box. It's filmed in a way that it's a dry comedy. And I would say Anna Kendrick, Kendrick? Kendrick plays Anna Kendrick. Like, you know her character. You've seen her do this character so many times. There's very few times recently where I can say that she's broken out of that stereotype, that sort of acting role that we know her in. Sometimes it really works. For me, I didn't see anybody else. I didn't see her character. I just saw Anna Kendrick, which is a shame because I know she is a great actress. Not to say I didn't like her character in this, but for me, Anna Kendrick was playing Anna Kendrick rather than Maddie. There are moments in this where this film really shines because of its quirkiness, its uniqueness. There are moments where part of the game aspects of the film are showcased and it's hilariously weird. I wanted more of that. I needed more of that from the film. If you're going to go quirky and weird, embrace it. That's what I loved about this film when it was embracing that. I thought, yeah, you're nailing it. The other thing that I was just like, this is so weird. The score for this is, again, weird, eclectic, bizarre, and somehow really worked. I love the score. For me, the, the thing that outshined everything in this movie was the score. It was so different and elevated to the film to being a dry comedy that you'd watch one time to maybe me going back again and actually talking about the score once more. So throughout the process of watching this film, I was enjoying the journey of the character, wondering how they're going to end it. And I have to say, it ended quite well, uh, like you'd expect this type of film to end. There was a journey, predictable in parts, with certain character revelations, not as revealing as the film would like to suggest it is. But you don't mind that so much because you've enjoyed the journey with Jake Johnson. I loved him directing this and acting and writing this. I thought it was a really fun take on this sort of story we've seen before, but also a reflection on humanity or self, like when you get stuck in a rut, what do we do to get out of that? And what are we willing to do that? There's a sort of psychosis at play here because most of the points of this film you don't know if he's just living in bizarre land and any of this stuff that he says has happened is actually happening or he it may not be happening so there's this balance that this film plays and i think it does for the most part really well i'm gonna give it three and a half nicholas cages out of five <laughs> and you've got one it's not quite great but it is fun for that one time watch and maybe again later date when you're talking about it with friends and like yeah i wouldn't mind that i like that idea and for those who are fans of jake johnson's i think you'll be really 
um, surprised at what is done with this genre. I think it's it, it's fun. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and feelings on this. Have you heard about this film? I know it's been coming out for ages and it's finally coming out. So. If you do get to see it, let me know your thoughts and feelings. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long Tuesday.